Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a G80. I think this is 2015, technically. This is still a Hyundai Genesis. So before it was Genesis sedan. So what we're doing today is, as you can see there, there's an excessive leak on our valve cover. We'll be replacing our valve cover gasket on our right hand. So part number for that, that's our part number for our right hand valve cover gasket. Um, so yeah, we got this cold air intake. We're gonna remove this and it should be pretty easy. I think that we have enough room for this. We just have to remove our connections here, right? So yeah, let's get to work and remove this thing and remove our valve cover. Okay, so let's remove this map sensor connector first. And it's attached to that side. And let's remove our bracket here. Now I'll be removing our hoses here. Where's the piece? That's supposed to be like that. Okay. The clamp is loose there. Uh, anyway, let's just remove this guy. And this guy is loose. Let's remove this. There's a mountain here, they put it here. I think that's 10 mm. Okay. And then our post clamp. I think that's eight. Or that's the driver. Here. Let me remove this filter. There's no space. What is that, man? Okay. So I put that aside. I'm gonna remove this whole thing. Now I'm gonna move you guys here so that you guys can see. Okay, so I think we just have to remove this harness here at this little space. It's just a bunch of 10 mm holding that harness. So to remove this connector.
something is still folding. Or it's because of this cold air and thick mountain wrap bushing. Come on. So this is our oil control valve for our input and that's a lot of oil there. I wonder if this is the one that's leaking. Yeah, that's a lot of oil man. So what we're gonna do is maybe we're gonna try this harness to move it like on this side here. I have to remove this bracket here. So there's a 10 mm here on this side, on the bottom. I'm just gonna take this out. for our oxygen sensor and camshaft. coil uh, we're gonna remove that right yeah because this attaches to the bomb cover so I just removed that joint connector for our ignition coil. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove this connector from the bracket. So I usually use just a pick and then there's a hole on the bracket. I'm just gonna push it inward and then pull.
let's move in. Come on. I'm gonna remove this guy here. And then we're gonna remove our ignition cord. harness and that's a wire on it so I guess my choice I'm gonna remove the connections on the ignition coil
So that's out. Okay, that's good. I think our challenge part here is there's a bolt on our valve cover there. Um, B or underneath this bracket. So I think that's gonna be our challenge there to remove that bolt. Oh man. Unless my quarter socket will fit in there, um, that will be great for us because I don't want to remove that bracket. Because that bracket is at the back of this. Let me grab my 10 mm first. Let's see. And let's see this guy if it will fit. Let me remove this. First, here. Okay. Oh, man. You know what? I think we just have to remove this bracket. Um, for this throttle body let's try that that's 12 mm i think if we're gonna remove this guy here i think we have a greater chance that our extension will fit in there nicely there let's try putting this guy here yeah okay so that's good, that fits. That fits nicely there. I guess, oh, there's another hose here for our PCB valve there. Our valve cover, let's remove that before. We're gonna remove all the bolts. that's out that's good yeah I think I think that's good then let me just remove this hose here wrap up Wait. What? Oh. 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 
looks like we're free now yeah i think so so i'm gonna start removing all these bolts now three bolts up this corner here oh that's tight Forgot, don't forget to remove your camshaft there, camshaft for your intake, camshaft connector, yes. that's part of the valve cover, well not part of the valve cover but it's connected to the valve cover unless you can remove the sensor itself, you can do that too, it's just 10mm. Right. You know what? Let's remove this guy here. Does it fit? No? Okay. It won't fit. Just leave it like that. And then we should be able to ride this guy. Oh no. I think we have to remove this. I don't know guys you can see um, our this is our camshaft sensor um, bracket so I think <coughs> I think we have easy SEs because once we lift this in an angle it will hit on the bracket so let's remove this sensor here and then maybe that's gonna be as easy as when we take this out so 10 mm not a big deal. Unless the sensor will not come out, that's a big deal, but it should be easy. Okay. Okay. 
should be able to remove this now easily. Not easily, but since we still have this big harness here. But at least we can maneuver this. cover got stuck in there. I'm gonna remove this guy here. And just we're just gonna clean our surface here. So that when we put our new gasket, it's all dry there. the harness earlier I think that's why we cannot remove it because this was connected to the camshaft so you can remove that fully if you want once you remove that camshaft connector okay so we're gonna install our new valve cover to our all uh, new or to our valve cover assembly a new bug cover gasket and and usually when you do this kind of job you'll notice there's some ultra gray on this side here in each corner I don't know what's really the purpose for that but Every time I disassemble an engine or do a timing chain repair, I will always see that from the factory. So, all you have to reapply that. Just remove the old ultra gray and then reapply it to your new gasket. And then, so yeah, so you need a gasket if you want to do this job. Uh, you're gonna need a new gasket and maybe a small amount of ultra gray for these corners here. So I'm just gonna clean the oil residue on this guy here. As you can see, there's so much oil residue. I'm just gonna clean that and then we're gonna install our new gasket. Okay, so I just clean our valve cover assembly here. I just use a degreaser and a brake cleaner, right? So, I didn't know that we got this, we also ordered this part here for our oil control valve for the intake, so if you want, that's the part number. Good thing, because I think that's where our source of our leak is. So, I'm just going to remove that. Put a new one.
Now, install a new gasket. Spark plug for ignition coil gasket here. Make sure it's all pressed down. Now we're gonna main gasket. So usually what I you see this marking here. I don't know if that's it's like a mesh style pattern. Usually that's on our front one. So so that you don't have to look for it. So, okay, so there's another one there. So that's gonna be the front. Press all the the sides on it. Make sure they're all in the position. Okay, so let's go back to the engine bay and let's install this guy. Okay, so before I forgot to mention the ultra gray, don't forget. So it's either we're gonna slide this in first and then maybe put an ultra gray there, or you can put the ultra gray on your valve cover but it really depends on the situation if it's a like a Honda Elantra it's just on top yeah I put that on the valve cover in this case because we have to slide in our assembly um, we're gonna I guess apply on this one not on the valve cover so we're just gonna apply on the block itself or the head okay Just gonna put a small amount of ultra gray in there. Nothing crazy. And then we're ready to slide this in. There's a challenging part there is as you can see our all control valve. Like it's higher, right? So we need we need to I need to move this guy. Okay. There you go. I think that's better now. So I can slide this guy in here. Make sure the gasket is still sits on the cover, right? You don't want that to jump off by its groove. Sometimes with a mirror, it can help us to that 
our gasket still sits right so usually I double check them before I put our bolts so I'm just gonna go through all the edges and make sure that our gasket is still there the mirror and a flashlight sometimes when we install this the, the gasket will jump off on its groove right so, so it looks like the gasket is still intact so now I'm just gonna put all the bolts and we're gonna torque them to specification Okay, so my rule of thumb, if you don't have a service information, when we tighten, let's say a valve cover, we go from the inside to outside. When we remove it, we go outside to inside, right? So since we're installing this back together, we're gonna go from the inside to outside. Okay, so since it's the, the rubber is still very very new, we're gonna redo again because if not, when you torque them, it's gonna, you know, it, it makes a lot of turns before it goes to the torque spec. So we're just gonna run through again all of them before we torque it. Okay, so now we're gonna torque it. What happened? Okay, so we're gonna torque this to 10 foot pound. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's done. So I'm just gonna put everything back together. Um, just don't forget your hose there for your PCV valve, your cam sensor, and all the connections, right? And then we're gonna restart this vehicle and let's see if we have some leaks. Alright okay, guys, so I'm gonna start the vehicle. Um, I put everything back together. I just wanna make sure that there's no check engine light since we remove a lot of connectors there for the sensors. And we're gonna just, I'm gonna double check if there's no leak. Okay, so so far there's no track engine light. I'm just double checking our work here, and I think I'm pretty confident that there's no leak on this one. I did my job, and that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that um, valve cover replacement on the 3.8 GA Genesis sedan or a Genesis G80 or a Hyundai Genesis. So yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions and thanks again for watching.